Signs have been a problem at Bonneville Dam for years, and now the problem has spread to Willamette Falls. State managers are tired of watching the meat protected salmon and steelhead runs, and now they want to kill them. KGW's Pat Doris has covered several parts of this story over the years. So, Pat, what changed at the falls? Well, it does sound a bit abrupt when you say you, they want to kill them, but it is true. They've tried deterrence and hazing. It just doesn't work. And this last spring, there were about 50 sea lions out here and the state estimates they ate about 4,600 salmon and really that was the last straw. Willamette Falls slows the passage of salmon and steelhead as they head upstream. The rocks also give lamprey eels something to grab onto as they move through the river. The eels are a traditional food for the Yakima Nation and sea lions. These are members of the Wanapum tribe, part of the Yakimas, harvesting their eels today. The sea lions, though, that's bad news, man. Clayton Buck remembers coming here as a child and rarely seeing sea lions. We need to do something about those. They're starting to take all the salmon, all the lamprey. It's kind of eating everything up here, and they're getting they're starting to get more and more every year, seems like. He agrees with a plan to kill some of the animals. Sea lion's got it. He's got a fish. Scenes like this drive Willamette fishermen crazy. That's it. Lean on him, buddy. Lean on him. During the big runs, sea lions can snatch a salmon off an angler's line. But the state says their request to begin killing sea lions at the falls is about protecting fragile fish runs, not fishermen. And so when we... Uh, take them out. We hope to see those effects drop off and hopefully they'll tell friends to go somewhere else. The state will formally file the paperwork in the next couple of months and hopes to start killing the animals during the returning fish runs next spring. They may face a court battle from the Humane Society of the U.S., which has tried but failed to stop similar killings at Bonneville Dam. It's simply a distraction. It's not going to fix anything and it wastes lives to no purpose. <sighs> The Humane Society there argues that dams and water being siphoned off for irrigation are really much bigger problems, but harder problems to fix. The federal government will have the final say on whether sea lions can be killed here this coming spring. Back to you. Thanks, Pat. Well, it's about to get hot.